So was this 100 watts solar panel worth the trouble? I think it was worth it. Uh, you know, the installation was fairly easy. You know, it comes with these L-shaped brackets that I had to trim them a little bit and uh, install them with 5200. I had to re-drill one of the holes uh, a little bit lower because I wanted the solar panel to be more level as it is. And uh, with the holes that came with it, see, she would have been looking uh, a little tilted forward and I kind of didn't want that. So I drilled one extra hole right there. But other than that, uh, it's fairly straightforward. See, I already had an entrance um, on the arch right there. So I just used the entrance that was already there. For uh, The entrance was, was for something like this, like a uh, GPS antenna. So I already had the, uh, the access right there. So, you know, my wires went in through there. And the solar panel have like pretty good connections. Like I was pretty impressed with the quality of it. So the cables get in there goes down my mast and I gotta say that the cables were perfect for where I had planned it to do the job, right? Because I was planning on adding the solar panel there. The cables come through inside my arch and then they come somewhere in here. So see, this is my, uh, my uh, uh, controls, you know, my gauges on the front of there. So I have the wire chasing those cables coming through the arch. Because, you know, there, there's also the cables that comes here for the sound system, right? Like uh, everything, all those cables are fed through up and through the arch. So from the solar panel, it comes to this uh, charger right here. And then this is the, actually the solar panel right here. And then, you know, we have uh, the uh, two cables that goes to the battery and two cables that's like a load. The load side of this, I have connected to a bus bar right there so you know i have ground and neutral to that bus bar so i can run little things like uh you know outlets or whatever i want to run out of that bus bar on the future i can and uh, and the other two is goes to the battery right and then that charges this battery that if i want i can separate it or have it connected to this battery that i can either have it connected or separated from the battery that's back here because right here i also have three batteries between the engines right there the one battery one battery is this engine the other bad uh, one uh, his three batteries here right one of the batteries is for this engine, the other battery is number one over there, and the third battery is number two, which is also the generator battery. So I usually keep that to number one, so I'm only using the middle battery over here, that that battery can be connected to these two bank batteries here through those two clicks. So I can either have the engine independent from the, this battery bank, or add these two batteries to that battery bank, plus a third battery if I want to, but I usually leave that third battery for the generator separate, so I always have that good battery for the generator. And the first battery here is for this engine too, that it's not connected to this system. So the solar panel feeds that charger that charges this battery that can be connected to the entire system and then the entire system would get power, right? And, uh, and that works like pretty well for my case at least because that's 100 watts, right? And I have these two fridges, right? Like this is my little fridge. It has a fridge and a freezer. And uh, this is just a top loading freezer. So this one here runs about 49 watts to run at, uh, you know, I usually have it on low, on, on low consumption and that brings it to negative four easily. So that uh, on that setting that draws 49 watts and this one I think is a little bit more, I think like 52 or 53 watts. I gotta look it up again. But so basically if my two fridges are consuming the power, the solar panel alone can take care of that. Uh, you know, for the cooling part of my fridges. And then when the fridges are not kicked on, because of course the fridge runs to get cold, once it's cold, it kind of just kicks on for a little bit and then just maintains it, right? So as long as I have it, you know, the, they're both fully cold already, they'll be uh, trickling in and off 
and by them trickling it off when they are not using the power the uh, solar panel is feeding my batteries and you know if they go on then the, they use that power from the solar panel so it was it worth it absolutely because now i can go out for the entire day because you see like sometimes it becomes a power can become a problem because i have two or three thousand watts um uh, two of them 3000 watts for the uh, outside stereo and then one of 600 watts for the speakers inside of the cabin right so during the day you have the music playing all day long and then you add two fridges even though there are three batteries uh you can you can use up all your power you know per se to give you an idea one one of these fridges can be ran for 12 hours or 24 hours out of one battery I think is what I looked at 12 hours, two batteries makes 24. I don't know. I think it's 24. So, you know, with the solar panel feeding these two fridges through, during the day, these three batteries set up, it's more than enough power than to, that I need to wait, you know, until next day until the sun comes back out or I ran the engines moving the boat from one place to the other or when the generator goes on. So it's like now it's enough power, you know, so one way or the other these batteries get charged right like if i'm not running the engines uh the solar panel is charging the batteries if i'm running the engines the solar panel and the engines are charging the battery and if i'm running the jenny too then the solar panel the jenny and the engines are charging the battery so it pushes all this power in there and then we're good to go one more round so yeah guys you know there is uh, my solar panel was definitely worth it which uh, I found it a little funny that uh, this is actually aluminum because I drilled it so I know it's aluminum and yet you see how like it rusted the little edge right there I'm gonna clean it and do a little touch-up job on it because I think it's just salt sitting there because see it's aluminum it shouldn't rust but you know it did but other than that you know it definitely did the trick I also have a video on this awesome little camera right here which, uh, you know, it's a completely different video, but I talk about this bad boy too. I love how it works. The camera actually follows you around, you know, and it sends you messages relating to however you want to set up your alerts and stuff. But that's a different video. So, all right, guys, I just wanted to make a video about the solar panel and uh, how I have it hooked up in there. So, if you watched the video until now, thank you very much. I appreciate the support and I see you guys in the very next episode. Bye-bye.